uh, this boy had a road traffic accident and there is a nezo ethmoid fracture with the frontal bone fracture you can see there the uh, there is a depression on the forehead nice and he had csf rhinorrhea you can see that uh, cd scan and the x ray shows there is a outer table fracture and with the inner table outer table this uh, elevating the outer table is only for the cosmetic purpose only but the inner table fracture causes the uh, uh, csf leak because there may be a dural tear so the aim of the treatment is to with a minimal scar so you can uh, i have planned for a, a medial candle incision and uh, making uh, you can see i have marked the incision line making the incision and approaching the sinus using a over the various elevator and you can see me elevating the fracture you see carefully the bone ah you can see that i have elevated it nicely so the outer table is nicely elevated so the scar is also minimal nicely elevated i can see the blood and csf coming out so i'm doing some wound debridement and whatever the bone pieces are in the sinus need to be cleared nicely now the problem is you need to pack the sinus with uh, fat or fascia so on the medial aspect of the thigh on the costus lateralis muscle you can see me making a curved curvilinear incision to and uh, we need to pack the sinus with uh, fat and uh, and the fascia later and part of the muscle so that uh, the entire sinus is packed nicely totally obliterated so the cs of uh, leak uh, stops completely so this my fascia you can see me packing the sinus with some part of muscle and and the whatever the fat and the fascia i have harvested will be packed nicely and close this stops the completely the uh, the pressure inside will stop completely csf leak so by this the bone is also elevated cosmetically the inner uh, sinus is debrided and uh, it is uh, packed nicely and uh, wound is closed you can see me may closing doing the sub subcutaneous uh, sutures with vicral ethylon suture and uh, you need to close the wound at the thigh also